good afternoon, good e I don't think we have any good evenings, but maybe if you're watching us afterwards. <laughs> so hello to all um, and welcome to our Q&A uh, session via Zoom. This is something that we do uh, twice a month and it's uh, it's officially for new members or newts, as we like to call them, new to Wikitree. Um, but really, it's uh, it's for anyone who has some questions and wants to work through their questions uh, in real time um, using screen sharing. That's that's the benefit of of uh, using Zoom. So, um, all levels welcome. I'm I'm Betsy Co, and uh, I've been doing this for about a year and a half now. Uh, I've been on Wikitree for five years, and I still remember the learning curve. Um, which is, is significant and, uh, and, you know, those moments of, of frustration and, and wanting to make it look right now. And um, sometimes um, it, I couldn't get it to look right immediately, but luckily there are a lot of very helpful people uh, in the community who, uh, who helped me along my way. Um, so where I spend time on Wikitree um, is uh, I have a lot of British ancestry on my mother's side. So I'm a member of the England, Wales, and Scot Scotland projects. Uh, I also have some Canadian ancestry on my uh, on the rest of my mother's tree. So I'm, I belong to the Canada project. And my dad's side is Taiwanese. So I'm the new project coordinator of the uh, Taiwan project, which is underneath our global project. And... Uh, then in addition to that, uh, I help with the events, things like Connectathon, um, the We Will Rock You event, um, and I serve as a mentor. So um, it's, I'm delighted to have all three of my usual co-hosts with me. I'll let, uh, I'll let her, uh, each of them say hello, introduce themselves. Murray, you're right next to me, so I'll let you go next. Okay. Hi, I'm Murray Maloney. And uh, I'm a technical writer, a retired technical writer. And so um, I do a bit of writing on, on Wikitree, uh, the uh, Wikitree browser extension, and some of Greg's apps. Uh, I write, um, write the instructions for how to use them. And I've been on Wikitree for about four years, and uh, I've become uh, quite grateful for the use of a, uh, a plugin called uh, The Sorcerer. Uh, which I'm sure you'll hear more about, um, helps helps uh, get everything done. Mm -hmm. And Steve? Hi. Uh, I'm having a little bit of a video issue. Hopefully you can still see me. Yeah, we see you great. Okay. Or I do. <laughs> Mine's lagging. Um, so I've been on Wikitree since 2020. Uh, I have wiki experience going back to 2005, so I'm, I'm a wiki founder. I have lots of wiki experience. And, and then I also have, you know, the overlapping interest in family history. So it sort of worked out that this was a place that I could, uh, you know, work on my family history. And it was something I was familiar with. And over time, you know, in working with my German ancestors, I became a member of Germany Project. Uh, I also uh, am involved in Notables Project, and I've been working on quite a few Notables in the last couple of months. And... Uh, I've tried to help out with the global project and pick up a new country, although I've only been there for two two weeks, so I can't say how that much ground truth, but I'd like to have some people help out with Tanzania project, if uh, anyone's familiar with that part of the world. Um, but that might involve someone who's very well versed in Swahili or, you know, any of the languages that are in that area. Um, so, yeah, I have, I have a couple of things. Uh, my main focus would be like German ancestry, especially coming through Wisconsin, where a lot of my ancestors have come through as well. And then on my paternal side, I have a Scots-Irish line. So that's something I was able to confirm more with DNA. So that's that's another element that we have here at Wikitree. Excellent. Thank you. And Hillary, Helen, coming to us from Wales. Yeah, um, I have been on Wikitree since 2011, so it'll be 13 years now. Um, I am one of the greeters. I'm a project coordinator for both Wales and England. Um, and pretty much most of my research is in England, but having said that, because I also do a one name study, which, go, which goes obviously covers anywhere. And I've got lots of connections with cousins that have immigrated and things. 
I do do some research in some of the other countries as well. Um, and I'm also a mentor, although I've not been that busy with mentoring recently, but um, I am one of the mentors as well. So I've got long, long time experience on Wikitree, but um, in only a small area. <laughs> Oh, and I wanted to add really quick, Hillary. Yeah. I just saw a very scary episode of Doctor Who involving whales. Maybe you know about it, but uh... we watched it. We watched it last yesterday. Yesterday, oh, yeah. you saw it yesterday too. Yeah, okay, yeah. aren't yeah. all the Doctor Who episodes scary and in whales? I think they can be. They're made in, they're made in, they're made in South Wales, um, so um, they make it because they make it Cardiff, um, and um, so they use a lot of places in South Wales. They've always used um, uh, the, a lot of the quarries and things. Yes. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I'm yeah. I'm in the north, so our mm -hmm. landscape's a little slightly different. <laughs> I just figured I brought that up because I got, I got to see a lot of whales in that episode and. Uh, yeah, it was. I'm still thinking about it this morning. It, it was that was probably somewhere in Pembrokeshire, more than likely. Right, right on the cliff the there. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we're right on the coast, but ours is slightly different. Here. Yeah. Stephen, not about saying too much. <laughs> I'm in Wisconsin. Yeah. So was it just one of the first episodes with the new Doctor? Um, this is like episode five with Shudigawa. Okay, four. I haven't gotten that oh, far. Yet. Oh, oh yeah, oh, spoilers. spoilers. Yeah, but, but I mean that that in itself shouldn't be a spoiler at this point for who the doctor. No, I was. yeah, I just wanted but, to make sure I hadn't missed something. Right, yeah. but we're not going to talk about what actually happens in episodes. So we're I'm just yeah, there it is. Yeah. Yeah. It's done. So, yeah. Everything I know about <laughs> whales comes from Doctor Who, basically. Which <laughs> is not a lot, not not a lot. <laughs> I know how to spell whales. <laughs> uh, C-Y-M-R-U. There's lots of consonants and not enough vowels. Back to Wikitree. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, sorry, sorry for the little sidetrack. Uh, <laughs> so uh, Jane, Jane has um, graciously agreed to uh, kick us off with her questions. So, um, and Jane, um, is there a profile that I should pull up? Uh, well, I think that there's a profile. I did join a couple of years ago, and then I got very confused, but I also got very busy. Mm -hmm. And um, I just know that there's things on there that would be beneficial to me, but I don't quite know about how to do it. I have lots of English, Irish, Scots, German ancestors. Um, you know, I have Mayflower people and Jamestown people for the uh -huh. U.S. people. So I have... I have lots of people, but right. I'm not doing a very good job with my people. And I oh. would like to I would like to be comfortable taking baby steps through Wiki. I've done a few things, but that's been a while and so on now. I've forgotten everything that I learned. Okay. So um Jane, what is your Wiki tree ID? It should be Jane Augustine. Okay, so uh, let's go to, uh, I'm going to screen share and I'm going to go to the home page. Okay, does everybody see my? Mm -hmm. yep. Yes. Okay, yep. so yep. Uh, Jane. I'm going to exit the screen. Uh, Either Augustine or Swift. Well, your ma it would be your maiden name. Then it would be Augustine. Okay. Well, do you know what your number is for your WikiTree ID? Oh, that's and, right. That's the active right there. Yeah. The okay. Right is this is this true? Jane and this is yeah, and that's my dad. And Perfect. My, uh, okay. Yes. Okay. We found, we found the right the right you. So yes. um and I see you're you're a family member. Um at some point you you will want to take a look at our honor code um, and just uh, sign off on that, and then you'll be a full fledged wiki genealogist. Um, but but right now, as a family member, you can still create profiles and make changes, and um, you know you can uh, up to like three hundred contributions. Um, so as you get close to that, the system will start to prompt you. Wouldn't you like to sign the honor code and um, 
I, I'm sure you won't find anything objectionable in it. It's things like, um, you know, I agree to uphold accuracy. I, I agree to be, you know, a collaborative, courteous community member, things like I that. Thought, I thought maybe that I had done that, but hmm. okay. um, like I said, I got on in 22. Uh -huh. um, so, and probably I did a whole bunch. Yes, I'll do that. And yes, I'm okay with that. And then yeah. life got in the way and here yeah. I am. I understand. Yeah. So um, it did you add, okay, you are the profile manager for your father. So yes. can we use, he's, can we he's use deceased. Him? Huh? He's deceased, yeah. Can we use him as an example? Sure, so, absolutely. Yeah, let's see, we've got, um, okay. We've got dates and locations for birth and death, which is excellent. Um, eventually you're gonna, you're gonna add in his, his parents and siblings. Um, just, perhaps... just like going, just like going through and doing a tree. Right. Of, I mean, exactly. this is wiki tree, but right. I think I thought it was, I don't know. Never mind. Now let's see, since, since your dad, um, our, our, my father was born not too long after your father. Um, let's see, I'm going to use Sorcer, which is, uh, does everybody see this little one here up at the top? Um, okay. Yes. A browser, a free browser extension where it can help you, help you create a properly cited source citation, um, but it can also search. So James Russell Augustine, I'm now searching family search. If you don't have a family wow. account already, I, I highly do. recommend it. It's free. I do. Uh, There's I think two I belong for them. all those things. Okay, right. good, good. Um, so does this look correct for your for your father? Yes. 19 and um and great. he can actually use this as well to create his his parents. Let's see. So his parents, Chester. Yes. yes. And okay. And he is and Wilhelmina. Adult, so pretty close and, you know, pretty close to his birth. So that's nice. So what we're going to do now is we're going to copy citation. Mm. And then when okay. I go, go over back to his profile, go to edit mode. Oh, Murray. Murray. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Mary. What you doing? Is he playing with my profile? <laughs> I don't know. Um, Murray, can you talk to us? Murray, Murray, Murray. Murray. There you yes, are. I exited. You, oh, you, you exited. Can... Okay. All right. Thank you. Um, hmm. Mm, reload the page itself. Okay. Mm, hit shift and reload. That might uh, be a a cache issue. Huh. Close the tab and open it up again in a new okay. tab. What do we got? So, by the way, before we before we do that, um, for any profile, oh. whatever, whatever you're on, um, up here in the menu, like if someone were to say, "Well, what's your father's ID number?" You just could look up here, and your father's ID is Aug uh, Augustine six eight six. Okay, why is it six eight six? Is that just a random number or some it, number? It depends on the order in which Augustines were added to WikiTree. Oh, okay. So, you know, the next person added after your dad would be Augustine six eight seven. There's yeah. no more significance than that. And if there wasn't one before that, it would have the number one. It would be the first one. Yes, which is super cool. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to go back here. Now, in addition, when you go to search for people, in addition, what I did for you was just Jane Augustine. I could also just do Augustine. 686. Six, six, put in directly the, uh, the ID. There's your dad. Okay. Let's try it again. There. there perfect okay now i can do it sometimes you get a fit angle with the computer yeah now jane are the birth and death certificates in your possession yes they are great so Ooh. what we're going to say um in i'm going to add karen to them thank Wait. you in possession 
of, um, and what's your ID? She name? doesn't know it. Oh, okay. Well, remember, I'm the baby, so <laughs> the novice. <laughs> That's if you back out a step, six, again. five four. There it is. It'll be Sorry, Mary. Mary, could you say again? Augustine six five four. Thank you. Six five four. Okay, so this is a very helpful little formula. Look, I do two brackets, your ID, then I'm going to do what we call a pipe. It's uh, on many keyboards. It's in the upper right hand corner ish, and then your name close brackets. Now what this is going to do is when I go to preview, it's going to hyperlink so that somebody will be able to see, oh, oh who, who is this person who has the birth and death certificates? And if they oh. track you down, they could get to your profile, send you a private message. So um, th that's a helpful thing. Um, and then we're also going to now add the census that we found on family search. Mm -hmm. um, then let let me now just I'm sorry, can I just jump in and say in case she's confused by that? Yeah. It, remember she had copied the citation, it was sitting on her clipboard. So now she just pasted it there. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Lynn. Yeah. So what I had done is I come over here and copied it and it tells me citation copied to clipboard. And then you just switch over to WikiTree and paste it. Um, 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 also in, in the sourcer, all you have to do is just go all the way down and just say copy, uh, source. Yep. If you, if you go into the sourcer, mm -hmm. When you're on that page, go to source circle all yeah. the way down and all the way down and say, build a source citation. Yes. And, and, and it'll do exactly what you just did. Yeah, you'll get something. If you, I don't usually do that when I'm in family search just because, ah, it, because it. it's already done. But ah, let, me, okay. let me show you, if I were to build a source citation, it looks and it says, okay, save to clipboard. It looks a, a little fancier. Let me just oh, they had the bold around theirs, right? Yeah, yeah. Yep. So, so it would look like this. First of all, it gives you the asterisks already. Oh, the asterisk it's a little bigger. Is yeah, what and then the it throws a 1930 census. Oh, okay. And then, I, I learned something different. Thank you. <laughs> that's okay. So as you can see, here, wow. first and our last. Uh, Actually, our more complete. Thing. It's nice that it pops out what the record is. And it gives you a bit more information. And it gives you yes. the images as well, a link to the yeah, image. If you, if you can access yep. the image, it gives you the link, doesn't it? So, Jane, which do you prefer? Um, between what and what? Between I mean, the, first, the first and the third. Um, it's the well, same record. Which would you want? The third, because it has so much more information. Exactly. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to get rid. We don't need it twice. So there, there we go. Um, by the way, I'll just, just remind everyone, um, this might seem, this little bit of code with the references and the slash might seem unnecessary, but it is. Uh, 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 don't don't delete it. <laughs> I did. I did. I, I, when I first started a year ago or two years ago, I completely deleted all of them. And now, now I have to go all the way back and put the whole thing back again. Uh -huh. And the reason it's there, we should explain, is, is for inline citations. Yeah. Now, if we wanted to cite anything within the biography or the text itself, that references tag would allow new sources to fall underneath that, that tag. So they would also pile up next to the ones that we inputted manually right now. So you'd see like additional ones mm -hmm. if you were citing something in the text. Does that make sense? Oh, yes, for the moment. But Actually, I'm hung up but, over on, sure. on the going across to how to add sources, so on, so on. Mm -hmm. um, Oh, that's a included inline rest reference. So I was going to say there's the big Augustine book, page 123. And I want to know what the big Augustine book is. So maybe it's, that was just something you typed in. 
That's no, just that, default. That's auto-generated. Yeah, exactly. Oh, all right. Oh, okay. So I wanted were, one of those. I know. Don't get too excited. <laughs> There's not an Augustine farm that you don't know about. No, there isn't. A, yeah, you, we do have the farm, but okay. I don't know about the farm. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's just acting as an example. But okay. yeah, if you wanted to cite anything, you would use those smaller ref tags to create that. But again, that's not required for you. You, you can still cite it the traditional way that we just did today. Mm -hmm. May I ask okay. a question about that? Yes, of course. Um, the reference um, language code? Yeah. Um, what is that coded in? Is there something it's, I could go to and learn that language? It's HTML. Oh, it's just straight up HTML. Yeah, it's a basic okay. reference tag in HTML. Okay. Which Thank can you. be used on a, a wiki. The media wiki allows for HTML to okay. make tables and to make special things. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. No problem. So now we always want to say what what we've done. So we've added a source, um, especially if I am making a change to a profile where I'm not the profile manager, I like to say what I did. Oh. I just, I added so, so that the person doesn't think, oh, well, first of all, if you're making changes to somebody else's profile, it's best practice to reach out to them first and say, you know, oh, I found this, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to, would you mind if I make this change? Um, unless it's something extremely straightforward. Um, well, there's been a lot of chatter about that subject in one way or another kind of recently, or at least I've been hearing about it. So yes, mm -hmm. um, I totally understand this. And I, not only for other just to remind me what I did mm -hmm. and my yeah. siblings, should they happen to choose to go look. Right, right. So then, um, you know, it's very easy way just by adding these three words, somebody will see, I ah, added the 1930 census. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and full save. Now, should we go ahead and add uh, add your, your grandfather? Sure. Okay, so if we go to back to the family search page, um, this is just my preference. I I like to switch the the perspective of the record. So mm -hmm. now now it's focusing on your grandfather. Mm -hmm. And Sometimes, his name should be referenced. Yeah, entry for Chester yeah. Augustine. Yep. And we'll do we'll do sourcer again. Um, so I'm going to build a source citation. Now I'm going to come back. I have to go from your father's profile. And I'm going to add father. <laughs> ah, now, Chester, can you Chester, help me with his dates, his name? and Chester Rubin Augustine. Um, is it R-E-U? Or yes. R-E-U? R U B E N. Thank you, Augustine. Okay. Certainly, certainly glad you're right on the program, Stephen. And uh, let's see, eighteen, uh, December tenth, eighteen ninety, eighteen ninety in McPherson, Kansas. December tenth. McPherson County. County. Okay. 1890. Usually, if there's not another name, it's it's usually just the county that's provided. McPherson. Oh, is it spelled right? I is it is is it M A C? Is it okay? Yes, uh, there it is. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I was coming up with the. Well, that's so strange. Well, it says M C P H. Yeah. Is the capital and, important? And, uh, <laughs> well, tree is ca case sensitive, but okay. and it's taken in, the A out. I in know. His birth in his birth certificate, it yes. says McPherson, M C. Okay. All right. All right. Great. I mean, not that that's you know. Oh, it is M C. No, yeah, the other one. See, because that's user submitted, so that doesn't know that it needs a capital letter mm. for the P. So when we typed it in verbatim, we couldn't find it on our end. <laughs> you right. learn things. Okay. Um, 
Jane, do you have anything more specific than 1954 for a death date? She, uh, has, she has a death certificate. Oh, I'm looking. no, that's for her father. Oh, but, oh, oh, I'm sorry. No, I have a death certificate too for him, but I got to find out where he is. Okay, you know what? You can go back and edit this. I, I can go back and edit. Exactly. <laughs> Everything that I'm doing right now, the only thing that's a little more complicated to change is if you make a mistake on the last name at birth. Well, his, his, um, no, that's birth. Okay. Yeah. So, and even so, I mean, you, you don't want to do this, you know, uh, willy nilly, but if you do make a mistake on the last name at birth and you are the profile manager, you can go in and change it. The reason it's a little more convoluted is that it creates a whole new profile ID. Right. Oh so yeah, I can. Sure. I can see how that would happen. Yeah. I mean, make I sure just... that she has control as profile manager because you'll be the profile manager, Betsy. Right. Well, I'll show you how to do that. That's a good point, Stephen. Oh. Mm -hmm. um, so where where did he die, Jane? He died in um, El Dorado, Kansas, and I thought I had it at close at hand, but I'm not finding it right this moment. El Dorado. Kansas. Kansas. Butler, Kansas. Well, yes, right. Okay. Well, there's an Irving County, too. Is that the right county? That's the one that's on the, on the, the Butler, Butler County. County. Butler okay. County. Okay. Two El Doritos in Kansas. Okay. Now, um, there are no, sometimes the system will come up with um, uh, other close um, possible matches based on name, location, dates combinations of all of the above, but in this case, none. So now we go ahead and we add that source. Um, notice that I'm going to, in this case, I'm going to take away that uh, bullet point. And this is... Which bullet point? Uh, the, bu the bullet point that, that came auto-saved into the... Uh, oh. In, yeah, if you from, control Z, she'll be able to see it again. Yeah. Um, yeah. Is it all automatically? Yeah. Okay. Good point. So, so when I had copy and pasted right from Sorcerer, um, we had this asterisk. Jane, you see the asterisk? Yes. Yes. Yep. Okay. So I'm just going to get rid of that because in this situation of creating a profile, we don't need that. Um, about found in 1930 census, um, proceed to create new profile. Okay. There he is. There he is. And you see at any time you can go into edit mode and you can add that exact. I can add that right. Yep. Yes. Um, now, now I, pro I, I, ha I probably have that on, um, <clears throat> I was doing not WikiTree, but what's the other one? Can we search? Well, no, with um, Ancestry and then with the other one, the inner, uh, the one that has the book. Anyway, I haven't done it for a while, so never mind. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so I can go in here in theory mm -hmm. and update it with, add the correct information without yes. getting myself yes. in trouble. Um, now I'll do something, um, that since he seems to have been a lifelong, um, Kansas, Kansas, Kansas sticker. And what that'll do is it's going to fill in his name. I love stickers. Um, and if you don't like that, all you have to do is just delete oh. that. Okay. So what does that look like? You just have uh, a well, Kansas sticker let's, there. Let's go ahead and uh, we added a source. We improved the bio by adding a sticker. And it's going to just say Chester Augustine was a Kansan. He was also well, a railroad. He was also a railroad man. Oh, well, okay. Cool. <laughs> now, and a farmer. So, and a I mean, you know. <laughs> okay, well, let's talk about. Um, Categories. I'm back in edit mode. Now, categories are wonderful things for um, places where uh, that were significant, born, 
lived, died in a place, right. um, occupations, um, links to, well, um, cemeteries, uh, links to uh, events of great importance. So let's see, I'm, I'm sure that there is a railway. Railroad? Well, they're all very specific. <laughs> Try railroad worker. Or the name of the railroad. Um, I don't think it was the actress in Topeka and the Santa Fe, but it might have been. Hmm. Oh. Because well, we always it's... like to we always like to go oh, around. Well, rail, there's railroad workers. Yeah, I yeah. just found it. Railroad workers. So I'll show you what that does. Um, but let's also give him categories for McPherson. And the oh, farm. That's category. the county. Am are we correct? No, but, Butler County. Butler County. Butler. No. Oh, Mc birthplace, McPherson, Kansas. That yes. I think that's the town. town. Okay. Let's in, instead do El Dorado, which is his death place. El Dorado. Kansas. Mm -hmm. There we go. Okay, what this means is now we're going to uh, we we have specifically we have categorized and you can see that well there are a couple ways to see it um, you can just click right here under categories and it will take you to the bottom of the page where you can see oh um, this this person is in categories for El Dorado and railway worker railroad workers if I click on that you're going to see that there are 69 people who have profiles wow. who have a link to El Dorado. And you can put in, you can click my connections. Um, okay. I should have written your profile down. It's what is it? Six, eight, five. Six, five. No, six, five, four. Six, five, four. Okay. Augustine, six, five, four. And, uh, well, okay, you don't have any, no other cousins. Okay, nothing to be But she's of. not connected to the tree. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you got, well, yep. We won't see that yet until she's connected. So let's see, for me, I am connected to the tree, so. Okay. So I, I've i got uh, these people who have a connection to El Dorado. And if I, whoops, if I, I shouldn't have done that. If I click on this, the 18 generations, it will show me the the um, how we're related. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Can I come, can I come <laughs> sit at your desk and work beside you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to remember this. Just keep, I mean, the lucky thing is that this whole session is being recorded and you can always oh, yeah. rewatch it. Yeah. But, um, to the point that Stephen was making about, um, we want to make sure that this profile is um, is connected to you. Uh, is you're the profile manager? Okay, so yeah. here we oh, are. Good. I could change it. Yep. <laughs> okay. So what you want to do? You see, right now because I created it, I'm the profile manager. But what <laughs> I'm going to do? I'm going to go to privacy. And for, well, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, let's see, oh. add a Go ahead and add her as a manager before removing yourself as a manager. Exactly. Yeah. So it's not a um, orphan. Orphan, yeah. Um, oh, where is it? Add. Right there. There it is. You missed it right there. Add well, that's the trusted list. Uh, no. Profile oh. managers is below that. Oh, okay. The profile uh -huh. manager. There it is. Mm. No. Hmm. You add them to the trusted list and then you nominate them to be manager. That's yeah. the order. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Thank Jane, you. if you if you would, um, do you know how to send me a uh just in the chat of Zoom, send a message to me only with your email address? Oh, um, let me see where under chat, right? <laughs> <laughs> and then say it to me directly. To drop, go to the drop down and drop it down. Right. 
so that it just shows so it just shows bets to uh, so you choose betsy mm -hmm. I I see. okay thank you should be wiki tree host <laughs> i see it yeah at gmail okay all right so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to uh let me let me stop screen sharing for mm -hmm. just one second. Go back here and um, just where where it says add this person to the trusted list. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add. To email. OK, so now. Now, Jane, now you are on the trusted list. I'm going to start screen sharing again. Well, so the next time that I come to one of these classes, I will have my um, profile. Not, I will have more information at my fingers that will help me out. It, it's still oh. visible, Betsy. It it's doesn't. Oh, yeah. OK. So what I'm going to do, you can now see that Jane is is um, added as man as a uh, as a is on the trusted list. I'm going to add as a manager. Okay. And and there we go. You. Okay. Oh. All right. And now I'm going to remove myself. Yes. Excellent. Okay. I have a better way for you with OAN because you're oh. talking about doing multiple, uh, you know, changes. Yeah. So this this is the way to do it for one. Okay. So for one, I um, like that though, though. Yeah, but this is good, and you wouldn't necessarily think that profile managers and trusted list is under privacy, or at least I wouldn't. So now, if we go back, now you're look. still on the trusted list, aren't you? Am I? Okay. Yeah. If you if you only removed yourself as manager, you would be on the still be on right, the right. Right. Okay. So I can go back, and I can remove oh. myself. Yeah. Okay. So that's I've done that before now. Removed myself right. as right. manager, and then forgot, yep. forgot that I was still on the trusted list. So it, 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 if you don't want to be involved with it at all, if you want to keep an, if it's somebody that's a relative and you just want to keep an eye on it, but don't necessarily want to manage it. Mm -hmm. Now, in this situation, trusted list really doesn't matter as much because it's an open profile. The person's been deceased for so long. If it was a profile of a person that died in the last 30 years, 20 years, you know, something that someone would want to edit but can't otherwise access because of how recent it is, this is where trusted list would come in, you know, and then profile manager is another step above that. Uh, but in this case, it's actually negligible because Chester's been deceased since 1954, which is over, uh, which is 70 years ago. Mm -hmm. So I just want to make that little note in this case that anybody can still come in and edit this profile. Um, they, again, they might want to ask you about changes they make to it, but they can still, they, they have a right to edit it because it's open. Okay, so since since we've uh, uh, talked about, uh, I, I sort of did a teaser for Anne about a different way to, uh, to achieve um, watch list to, to lighten your load with your watch list. Let me, um, can I watch. ask, can I yeah. ask first for a definition of what the watch list is? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. So here we are, we're on my profile. And if you go under my wiki tree, you'll see watch list. And these are all the profiles where I've either created them or I am on the trusted list which means that I'm not a profile manager, but I have the authority to, to make changes. Um, and, and I'm notified if there are any changes to the profile. So is this mainly used as a shortcut to the people you care about on the tree? Yeah. Okay. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and you don't wanna let your, your profile, your watch list get <clears throat> indefinitely large. It's, it's recommended that it, you keep it below 5,000. Um, and, <laughs> yeah, so that's when Anne was, when Anne, when you wrote me and said, I'm at 1,000, I thought, oh, small yeah. things. I mean, I only have 460. I try really hard to keep it, keep my watch list tight. Um, well, uh, uh, see, I have so many because I'm in so many projects. I became your project manager, and plus I've been doing a lot of orphans, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so. that makes sense. 
Well, I, I have a question about yeah. watch list. Um, I did have some people on the watch list and w whatever was coming through on that was not very helpful. So I think I removed, I, I don't know that I have any people on the watch list now, but I was trying to track this elusive person, last name Sharp from Virginia or um, in that area. And so could you just, can you give me a, like a real quick thing about a watch list? You probably were talking about it and I didn't quite get it. Um, well, it can, while I'm on this page, can I show, let me show Anna sure. what, what she wanted to see. So I have, I have a couple of people, these, by the way, I love the fact that you can, you can um, shift these around. You can, um, by edit date, I can see, like maybe I wanna look at um, profiles that I haven't touched in years that probably really need some, some attention. Then I can sort by edit date. Right now they're alphabetical. So I have these profiles that um, I did for a secret Santa. <laughs> So um, let's see, how did I do this before? Uh, sort by name. Sort by edit date? No, there was a way to select. Yeah, um, um, select, select it. You can add, you can select, select um, a few, but you can select, select a, a whole load as well. Um, well, yeah, I was only gonna select about half a dozen. Um, you, you can select with, some that you've added more recently, can't you? Usually, yes. Um, um, I'm trying you to have think. WB turned off. Uh, it is because just because most beginners don't have that. Yeah, so that's uh, why you're missing that feature. I see. Okay, everyone, it is starting to pour here, and I have open windows. Would you uh -oh. just mind oh, if I just step <laughs> away for a second? Yeah, yeah, no problem. <laughs> Mm. I've I've got removed selected from watch list on mine, but I've got wiki, the the wiki tree B, um, wiki tree browser oh, extension on it. Unfortunately, I don't have wiki tree B. It's because I don't have oh. because I'm I'm a Mac and wiki tree B is not on a Mac, and I I tried that. It doesn't work. It, yeah, yeah big storm slamming Chicago right now. Mm -hmm. Can I ask what the difference is between the B and the sourcer? Because I kind of I installed them both, but I guess I I've used the sourcer now, but the B I'm not really understanding what it's for. So there's two things. There, there's uh, there's there's B B E E, right? And there's also WikiTree browser extension. Okay. Now B. So those are both uh, separate from sourcer. Yes, mm -hmm. those are both separate from sourcer. Okay. Now um, B contains some. There there it is. Wiki. Oh. Yep. Um, <laughs> Uh, WikiTree B, uh, a lot of the features that were historically in WikiTree B have been moved over to the WikiTree browser extension. There, but there are still uh, there's still a lot of work going on with B. Um, I'm on a Mac, so I have no knowledge of how B works, but I understand there's lots of things going on with it. Um, Can anyone speak to that right now? What uh, what B does if you're not on a Mac? It's, it can help with bringing some things into um, WikiTree, I think, from what I remember. I haven't really properly used it. I've got it on, um, but I can't really use it. I'm, I don't know if I've used it or not. I think Stephen has an answer. Steve well, I knows. mean, so I don't have much experience with, you know, B versus uh, the browser extension. But what I know is that B was started, you know, by a person first. And then the WikiTree browser extension utilize some of the features that were in B. So I think a lot of the features that were in B are now duplicated in the browser extension, but B might still be good for like, you know, a couple of things that it can't do. Does that make sense? Yeah, uh, that's the same answer I found online. And and actually I think what, what Murray was saying, but I'm yeah. just asking, so what are the few things left that B actually does? But it seems right. like all of you who there are experienced those. don't use it. So maybe we don't need it. <laughs> we're, I think we're phasing it out, honestly. I think, uh, Okay. No, no, actually, it's not being phased out. Um, it's not? Okay. No, it, it, no. Um, actually, uh, Ian is quite protective of it. And, uh, right, Ian B call. That's why it's called B. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, and um, I, now I can't remember. I think Flow is working on it. Oh, Flow is uh, helping out as well? 
Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, so I think there's some work in in categoriz categorization and in yeah, cemeteries and and stuff like mm -hmm. that that's going on in B. Now, B B works on the other browsers, but doesn't work in Safari. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. so, so they each have their own benefits depending on what you're using. I suppose the answer is that you know B, B is being worked on still. But a yeah. lot of the features that were on it have been ported over to like with your jury browser extension. In, um, so, so it's more specific now as to what they're working on. You know, like you fact, said, the categorization. Is there yes, a page in, in that... fact, there's nothing duplicated in, in B. So any any feature that existed in B that was transferred to WikiTree browser extension was then removed from B. Okay, here we go. So where do I go to learn what B does? Uh, just a moment. YouTube. <laughs> well, there are help pages, which may be what you already uh, looked for, looked at before. Um, okay. And I see that um, Karen has asked in the chat, how do you add a browser extension? Um, so if we could put, um, Murray, if you're already looking, maybe you could also add the uh, help pages for Sorcerer and WikiTree browser extension. And at the, at the top of those help pages are instructions that are very clear, I think, for how to add it to your browser extension, to mm -hmm. your browser. So I just re-enabled um, my WikiTree browser extension and refreshed the page. And you can see that I now have these little check boxes uh, next to certain this is next thank to you. all of the profiles. So thank you. Yep. Thank you, Murray. Yeah, um, I stay corrected too. I, I still need to update myself on what's going on with the apps. So thank you, Murray. Not at all. So I'm going to click these five profiles uh, where they're not, you know, I was just helping out. Um, and it's it's been quite some time. So what I want to do is I want to remove the selected from the watch list. And there we go. So, and that might be for, for your, what you were describing, that might be a little more efficient. Yeah, thank you. you. Yeah, perfect, Welcome. thanks a lot. Sure. That works. <laughs> okay. And Jane, what you would, you had a question, remind me of your question about the, about the watch list. Oh. Well, I think that I was using it for something maybe that wasn't going to be very helpful. I was trying to find this specific ancestor, but the last name is Sharp, and there's like 20 billion Sharps. So oh, yeah. I was getting um, information all the time. So I just took him off of the list because I'm trying to clear an eighth-generation um, roadblock mm -hmm. on um document that I'm doing. So anyway, what do you use that for? Well, um, it's mainly so I know that like like somebody said, all the profiles that I care about, I think Lynn said, um, that they're all in one one place. Um, oh, all okay. the profiles that I've created, that I'm working on, that I have a special interest in, um, and then I can get to them all in in one list as so opposed to I knowing their uh, wiki tree id or right. looking going one yeah. generation by one generation up yeah. your tree mm -hmm. so if i built a tree yeah but i put all of them on the watch list you don't have to do anything all like all you have to do is create so okay. um now i saw that you only had one contribution jane so you probably just have your father and your grandfather on your watch list. Wait, why don't you go to, to my wiki tree, go to watch list, and I'm guessing you only have two profiles there. Am I supposed to do that now? Yeah, yeah, if you could. Because um, I, I, I wonder if we're talking about the same thing. Well, how, how do I do that when you so, have... So, so do you see at the top it says my wiki tree. Yeah. Okay. So hover over that. And then there's a pull down menu. It's alphabetical. And mm -hmm. go to watch list and click on that. 
Uh, did I, I guess my point was is that I needed to be in another screen to do this. Yeah, yeah. your screen oh, is to go I, can't, yeah. I can't do that because you're doing that. So go ahead and get out of full screen. Uh, you can go to the upper right hand corner of Zoom, hit view and remove full screen. And should just be, hit you'll get your screen back. Yep, hit escape. That's what I do. Or that works too. <laughs> Okay, well, you guys go on and I'll try to do that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, um, uh -huh. we have, uh, we have okay. about 10 minutes left. What um, what other questions do we have? Um, Matt, have you, you, have you uh, I know you wanted to just lurk and observe, but is there anything that's come to mind? No, uh, I've picked up some little tips along the way. Um, for example, putting in the... Uh, for lack of a better phrase, the the code in the last name field in the general search. That's that's mm -hmm. that'll be a useful tip for me. The ID um, number. Yep. ID number. Thank you. Yep. Um, you know, most of today's discussion's been focused on uh, creating and building out profiles. Mm -hmm. uh, that's not where I am as a user at this point. Mm -hmm. um, I'm more, like I say, a receiver of all the good work that you and others have done in terms right. of connecting dots as I build out my tree not on Wikitree, but with my own records, um, trying to trace back. I try to go back about uh, 13 or so generations, and I find that this is a good source of information. My questions uh, tend to center more along, um, oh, um, functionality of sources, um, uh, accessibility of sources. I'm a bit of a doubting Thomas, somebody asserts that Joe was Fred's father, I kind of say, all right, well, how do I know that that's true? Because I'm I'm trying to figure out the veracity of information as I build out my my tree, um, mm -hmm. recognizing that this is all very much a work in clay, not in stone. So, uh, but th those are those are the sorts of questions that come to my mind, so. Got it, got it, okay. And just um, when you're talking about, I know Jane is at the beginning of her, her journey building out on Wikitree. And um, so I just want to make sure that everybody, um, go back here, that everybody knows that on any page that is open um, with a, a public family tree, you can click on ancestors. So here we are on my page. And then you can see my my family tree. You can see where I need to fill in some gaps. Um, so that that's a very useful feature. Um, and Jane, I'm guessing Augustine. 684. No, um, but 654. Oh, sorry, 654. I go to Jane's. Okay. So Right. So there you are, Jane. Um, you're, you've got you, your father, and your grandfather. Click on click on Chester again. Uh, um, you added new sources, I saw. I, I did. You added new oh. sources. What happened? I don't Wait. know. Maybe refresh? Yeah. Oh, sorry. It should have been James Wilson, Augustine. Oh, oh you... Okay. Uh, 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 oh, wow, well, wow. Okay. Oh, I, and I, I added it to the wrong person. Sorry. Okay. It's okay. We can make changes. Yeah. <laughs> fix it. yeah. Fix it. This happens. Okay. We're all human here. <laughs> <laughs> we'll look, we'll look at it when it's on the right profile. Yeah. yeah just check. Okay. Uh, well, I'm still lost back in the hinterland. So. Okay. Well, it, you, you will, you'll get the hang of it. I mean, it's just sort of repeated, you know, efforts and, and yes, sometimes you walk into a wall and then you just shake it off and you, you try again. <laughs> it is, it's definitely conquerable. There's, there's a lot of humility with wiki editing. I mean, mm -hmm. a lot of times people will make mistakes and that's normal and, and that's to be anticipated. Uh, the big thing is we need to be fair of each other when people do make mistakes is that we, we know things can be fixed. So we can always go back. We can remove information, change sources, just like Murray's doing right now. So he's yeah, going to move the info from. Just to respect now. Oh, right. Okay. He's going to put it on the grandfather's profile instead of the father's profile. So then everything will be hunky-dory, right? right? Right. So here is Jane's 
dad's profile where we have the 1930 census. And if we go to your there. grandfather. So quick. Okay. So what, um, uh, did you use auto bio or did you? I, um, I actually, I, I did a, a, a search on ancestry. Mm -hmm. I found that there was a tree that somebody had put together. Mm -hmm. So I went to the tree. There, there were already sources attached to the tree in ancestry. Was and it I used my... Sorcerer to just grab all the citations. Was it my tree or somebody else's tree? Uh, let me tell you, it is. It is the tree uh, named Alex Augustine family tree. Oh yeah, she's my niece. Uh -huh. Because I I haven't put any I haven't put any trees on ancestry. Mm. But anyways, so I've only ever Murray. Did you use Sorcerer and then build all citations? Uh, yes. Yeah. Mm. See, I've only ever done that from family search, but that's good to know that it works on ancestry too. It's great. Yeah. Um, and and I would just say as a sort of asterisk caveat, um, if you're going to do that, make sure that you review all all of the records. I you know I go through each of them and make sure that you're not importing something that's uh, that's not correct. Now, all those sources, would I be able to click on them and view them if I'm not a member of Ancestry or are these Ancestry yeah. uh, links? Yeah, like hyperlinks. They're sharing links. Yeah, they're, they're yeah. sharing links. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So there would still be some record to reference. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yep. And, and so the neat little hack for a non ancestor user is the sharing link comes up pretty tiny, but then you just, you know, do the blow up your screen. And then you'll be able to see it. So, so hold that, Sister Ruben. Um, oh. There they oh, are. Wow. That was fast, Murray. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good work. Thank you, Murray. Yeah. Oh, I do it from family search, but I haven't done ancestry yet, but yeah. I might do. <laughs> wow, look at, look, look at all those people that you could add. You're, you're, you're speaking mm. pretty big. Well, interesting. There is a person that roomed with them that was a chemist. Oh, okay. and there's a person from Sweden. Right. And, and and look at all the nurses. Wow. Oh, what this did is... the grandfather do again? This is the grandfather? This is, yeah. yeah. Yes, the grandfather. Um, he was a farmer wow. and worked on the railroad. So now I can go on under what Augustine and Wiki Tree and I can see all of this. Yes. In theory. Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah. Um, and actually right what I'm going to do is I see now we have a a duplicate of oh. the 1930 census because yeah. uh, so I'm going to go ahead and, and take Murray was too good at his job. No, no, no. You shouldn't. <laughs> no, no. I wouldn't eliminate the other one because it, because it's it's available from um, family search from family search, which okay. means that, that somebody mm. who can't see it properly on Ancestry might okay. be able to see it properly on family search. OK. All right. So, but my God, it, it's really maybe, complicated. <laughs> maybe what we should do is 1930 census. If I grab this and make it that copy. inline citation, yeah, copy yeah. it. Put it yes, if it's not separate, right? So there's the only I, I, I can appreciate it. it's very, very visually overwhelming when you look at things in edit mode. Okay, that's the end of the ancestry citation for 1930. Now I'm going to click on C for cite your source. I'm going to copy the family search one right in there. Now I can delete. Remove it from that. there. Yep. Uh, now all we have is inline citations on this profile. Yeah. If we preview now, here's 1930. And then we have two citations. This is the one from Ancestry, and this is the one from Family Search. So that's that's a little clear. Great, that's nice. Yeah. And now they're clustered together in the references section. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to say formatting because I really didn't change anything substantial. Mm -hmm. 
Wow. And also because you've turned on your extension, Thank now you. the image of uh, the profile looks different for things like family relationships and yeah. the layer might be, it, it looks different than what she'll see on her end. The, the yes. categories are pushed up to the top, for yep. example. And there's so much, the WikiTree browser is <laughs> so powerful. Um, you can really customize it to what whatever floats your boat you want to see categories at the top you can do that you want to see family relationships off to the right you can do that um the pink people often ask why why are those that bit of text pink and all that means is that i have at some point clicked on that link which we know you saw me do it <laughs> you know i did um and mm -hmm. what question yes i heard that after like five years that that ancestry sharing link would be gone. Is that true, or is that just a rumor that was going around that I heard? I don't know. I hope not. Yeah. That's why it's important to have multiple sources in multiple places. Yeah. Well, just, and that I, might I depend on an, <laughs> Sorry, that might depend on ancestry's lease of that information. True. Very true. I would think. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Because they, they, they do sometimes change from one thing to another. Um, that, you right. know, one of the other right. genealogy companies like Find My Pass or whatever might have the, uh, have the rights to do something. I mean, fair to say family search is more stable at least. Yeah, I would, I would say yes. Yeah. And ancestry? Extremely. Yeah. Family yeah. search just doesn't have all the uh, uh, doesn't have that many images for some of the a lot well, of it's, things. It's not a for profit organization. Yeah. It's so, like so so sometimes you need to have the go to the others just to confirm that make sure that you've got all the details correct and you've got the right record. Right, because sometimes early on, it seems like a couple of years ago when, when I used family search, they just grabbed the information and, and when I tried to source it, I had trouble. So that I was not their biggest fan. Mm -hmm. I mean, I have to do it for ancestry too, but I, it's just difficult sometimes. Well, but I think there are a lot of sources that are physically there, like you can see them and view them. And then, you know, the, the other trick is, is getting someone or something to uh, analyze them and, and, you know, read them out, whatever that word is, I'm trying to think of, uh, annotate okay. them, oh, um, okay. you know, so, so then you can get that data created and make a source citation from it. Um, but yeah, I mean, fam family search now I think has a lot of documents that are visible than maybe just even a couple of years ago. Does that sound right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're always adding more. And, and if you're fortunate yeah. enough to be within reach of a family history library, then the library. Yes, some libraries do. Shockingly, the uh, the Chicago Public Library does not have an access. Oh, I, I just oh, really couldn't believe that. Me too. <laughs> but I think oh. Milwaukee does. We can double check on that at my end. I mean, North Suburbs. I mean, there are other places I can go, but I just thought, wow, if I could log into my CPL account from home, how great would that be? Mm. Yeah. Well, we do have in Rossville, Georgia, we do have a family search mm -hmm. library. Mm -hmm. And um, there are people in there all the time. I have not actually gone there to use it. I think I need to do that. Yeah. But my brain only takes so many pieces of new information at a time. So understandable. Yeah, yeah uh, ours is in Hill Corners, Wisconsin. So we got one here. Lynn, you had a question? Yeah. I, it, do we still have time for it? Yeah. Let's take one more question before we wrap up. Yes. Okay. Um, we were just talking about ancestry and sources, and I ran across a problem with this a day or two ago, and I posted the question to the G2G, yes. and I, I got an answer, but I thought as long as there were four of you here that were really familiar with this, maybe there's an even better way. Okay. Um, I, I have always used Ancestry as my primary tree. Mm -hmm. uh, and now I'm starting to put some people on Wikitree. I just finished my first profile. Mm -hmm. um, and I have things on Ancestry that are not Ancestry sources, mm -hmm. but other sources that I have found 
in libraries or you know wherever and i have added them as sources to ancestry oh i see okay and so i wanted to know because there has to be a better way than manually writing out those citations mm -hmm. on these profiles a way to transfer them over okay. um because the wiki tree sorcerer does not work for them so um i also use ftm and a lady had said um, to go into FTM and showed me a way to finally copy the citation because, of course, you can't do it from Ancestry um, and then put that into Wikitree. Is is there a faster, better way for that? Do you do you need to? Yeah, I'll just ask that. Help, help her out. <laughs> um, sorry, you're saying you can't copy a citation from Ancestry? when it's a when it's a citation for something that isn't ancestry's source but i did oh oh, oh. Hmm. Not so you're, you're saying when a when a, a member has maybe posted a picture of a birth certificate or they've they've added some information and it's a it's basically a member's edition of information as opposed to something that has some provenance behind it that ancestry has has um yes anything that isn't something that ancestry leases the rights to something right. that i've gone out on my own and say found in a library so it isn't available on google books because i know google books works on the sourcer or um you know wherever it is uh, yeah. uh some newspaper archive comes up a lot because the sourcer will work with newspapers.com but not newspapers archive and when you go to try to use to move all that data over mm -hmm. um, for these sources that are special in a way, is there a better way than going into FTM and doing the process the gal just taught me to do? Um, that's a really good question. I I don't know the answer to that. I I don't you, I don't generally uh, try to um, cite those kinds of sources. Well. I mean, if it, if I find something in a book that I can't find, uh, you know, then I'll write my own citation. Now, the sourcer has um, uh, one of its features is help me write a citation. Yeah, and I tried playing playing around with that. I guess I, I understand how to do it on Ancestry very well. Um, I, I guess maybe I'll just have to figure it out on Wikitree and and start doing it that way. Okay. Be a page Even? here. Um... We, we have a help page on how to cite sources. I mean, right. you know, oh, I, I don't need help that. citing sources. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, I just, it's just this one particular, I don't want to have to type them all out. It's, it's not like there's one or two of these, Yeah. you know, I'm talking, you know, there might be 10 or more per profile um, that I've found in other places. Um, Lynn, Lynn, do you happen to be a person who uses discord? Are you on the Wikitree discord? No, I don't know how to use Discord. I find it very confusing. Oh. I would be happy to use Rob. it if you want to point me that way. Yeah, I'm just thinking you probably need to contact Rob that created Saucer. He might be able to do something. Oh, Rob KV. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so, yeah. So so on 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 uh, sorry, on Discord, there is a channel for Rob KV who who wrote Sorcer. Um, it's quite an extensive uh, channel. Video, he, yep. he, he talks about all, everything to do with it. He talks about bugs. He talks about features that he's going to add. He talks about all, lots of things. So that's a place where you can go and just talk to Rob and say, Rob, uh, I'm trying to do this. I'm having difficulty. I can't quite figure it out. Can you give me any advice? Or And, and, and sometimes Rob will come back and say, yeah, here's how you do this. Or he'll say, oh, gee, there's a feature I need to add. Mm -hmm. And And, you know, next thing you know, he he's doing that so um that's all i can suggest i'm not i'm not really an expert on sorcerer i i know how to use it in, in the you know the aspects that i try to use um but any deeper than that i don't i can't help you well also here's a quicker way to get to rob there's his profile id so oh, you, okay and send him a private message in a private message yeah. yep. okay thank you well we're well we're doing there um there is my pro there's my profile ID if anyone mm -hmm. wants to send me um, follow-up questions um, and we we do these sessions twice a month um, it's the second Thursday and the fourth of each month um, and I do post uh, post them in um, 
about them in G2G. And there's also sort of a clearinghouse uh, free space page um, where I'll put that link in here where uh, all the information is kept up to date. So there's that. Um, So please come back as many times as you like. And uh, uh, and we will uh, and you can always watch them on the uh, on the uh, replay. Uh, Jane, Jane, do you want do you you can send if you go on my profile, you can just send a private message to me. There's a little envelope icon next to my name and, and that would be true of anybody so very little yes very very little but it's there <laughs> all right well i think we'll so the next the next meeting is when the next meeting is I should june have... 13th which is a thursday at 7 p.m eastern time um hmm. Okay, I will not be available for that. I will tell you that right now. Yeah, so coming up pretty soon, about two weeks. So start gathering those questions. I don't normally join the Thursday one, and I definitely won't be joining that one because I will not be, <laughs> will not be, that. Not be uh, available. <laughs> I'll clarify this at 7 p.m. our time, Central, 8 p.m. Eastern, 12 a.m. UTC. Thank that's, you. That's yeah. when it is. Uh, but I will be in Chicago, ironically, just not next to my computer. <laughs> All right. Well, um, thank you very much, everyone. I'm going to stop our recording and wish you happy wiki training.